Hi, I'm Andy Singleton and I'm the 2022 Artist in Residence for Fenwick. I'm a paper sculptor and illustrator based in Wakefield. My background is I studied illustration at Manchester Met. That's where I first started working with paper as a medium. So I've always been interested in drawing. As a child growing up, I was uh, kind of obsessed with drawing. I've got two sides to my practice where I do commercial work, uh, a lot of illustration based work, where I create paper sculptures or paper installations for windows. A lot of my interest usually comes from nature, a lot of my inspiration comes from nature. The way I approach each project is usually the same. It starts with a sketch uh, in my sketchbook. The next stage would be to produce the artwork in paper and I usually do test models initially to understand what I'm going to produce. And then as the final stage would be to break down these test models and make templates from them and then I can produce the final artwork in the higher quality paper that I like to use. When people look at my work I want them to get a sense of energy and fun. The way I approached this project with Fennec for the 140th anniversary was to meet the Fennec team in Newcastle and we went to the Fennec archive. I didn't realise that they had this amazing collection of circus posters that stretched back over 100 years and I realised that Fennec has this sort of experimental playfulness uh, built within it. It kind of let me express my voice more clearly and that's a really valuable thing as an artist, I'd say. So the inspiration behind the Bond Street Portico display, it really grew from the windows that I produced for Fennec. At the time I was working on the brief for the beauty bag and the visual for that was these circus performers using these beautiful flowers, paper flowers that I'd made. And when the portico opportunity came up, I just thought it would translate so well uh, into a larger scale sculpture for the outside of a building. I feel like the characters that I produced for the circus theme, mostly female characters, they were expressing their personalities. They weren't just there to perform for people on display. To me, that's empowerment, to be able to live in a society where we can express ourselves completely freely without being restricted. I think that's an interesting aspect of the work.